Hello, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my tech vault. And I bought the world's cheapest power supply. So on the list of ideas for videos that are probably not the most smartest uh, and intelligent, uh, I decided that I was going to purchase this power supply for 12 cents. That's right, 12 cents. And I'd be willing to argue this power supply is the cheapest that anyone can get in the world, at least relatively speaking for USD dollars in the location that I have at the current time. So pretty much the cheapest possible anyone can get. So we've got ourselves a power supply by a brand that I have never seen before in my life. I believe it has a 200 watt rating and it's not even has, it doesn't even have any efficiency rating. Now wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. If we get too far in this video, we need safety because this is probably going to be on the latter side of stupid video ideas that I've decided to do on this channel. So I've got a working fire extinguisher because we're going to need it. So in today's video, we are going to try and put this guy through the limits, not the fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher we already knocked out of the question is going to be used. So we're going to put this guy through its paces. We're going to try maxing it out. Um, Hopefully it doesn't explode. Uh, I don't think insurance covers power supply explosions, but we're going to try and see what the rails are and try and actually get this to max out. Hopefully it doesn't catch on fire and uh, yeah. So while I go through and show you guys the parts that we're gonna be using for today's video, uh, I wanted to also go through and explain how I got this power supply. So sometimes uh, certain landfills will have a bunch of computer parts that they'll be selling for scrap value. And uh, that pretty much just means the pure value you'll be able to get them if you were just to melt this down and take the aluminum out of it. So that's what 12 cents gets you, this guy. So for today's video, I'm going to be using the uh, minimum wage gaming PC that we did. Uh, this I believe is the Pentium Sim system. It sucks a lot of power. Uh, that, that's for sure. I don't know if we even have all the required connectors. Heck, I, I don't know if I even want to try getting some adapters for this. So, power cord. I'm gonna plug this side in first. I'm hoping we don't get big sparks and explosions. It's already on. Oh boy. I don't know if you guys saw that, but the lights flickered there pretty bad. <laughs> Dude, that's the <coughs> okay, let's try a graphics card. Okay, what is the more beefier graphics cards that I have that would pull a good bit of power? Pretty much the whole $75 gaming PC. Or not the minimum wage gaming PC. What is it, seven twenty-five cents? Oh yeah, oh that's hot. I don't think I've ever actually seen a power supply get hot. Hey guys, so a few, thing that I a few things that I had to do. First off, number one is I don't have an adapter from Molex to uh, SATA, so I had to get a separate power supply and I'm running just the hard drive off the separate power supply. Don't worry though, I'm not concerned. I'm going to be stress testing this. I've actually got Windows boot up over here. We'll go over there in a second. But I've got Windows boot up on this. I've got my disk drive over here. And basically, we are going to stress test this sucker with the fire extinguisher in, in, in this hand. And uh, we're going to go through and try to stress test it. Already, this power supply, supply is letting off such a high-pitched squealing noise. Usually, usually when that happens, it's, it's not a good sign. So when, since we're not even stressing anything, this is prob it's probably just going to end up with the system shutting off. But just in case, I have my trusty fire extinguisher because we're probably going to need it. 
So for the uh, wonderful game that I figured we'd be playing, uh, I figured that we'd try some Agario uh, simply just because we had a lot of success with it on the um, uh, minimum wage gaming PC and that's pretty much the same hardware we're playing on. So this is a 200 watt power supply. I've got the CPU pegged out pretty much max, just Chrome browsing. Um, and I am going to just try and play this with very, very limited um, well, A, hardware. I don't even know where I'm going. Let's get this down here first. So yeah, we're gonna peg this out and just let this run around. Yeah, I don't even know what's going on. It's pegged out and uh, yeah, let's put this up here for now. Yeah. Really? I guess it looks like that died. So on a much sadder note, it looks like the power supply like is dead. <laughs> uh, actually, I should probably turn this one off too. But the power supply itself is completely dead. And I've tried, you know, it's just nope. <laughs> it won't even turn it on anymore. So now it really is just scrap value. <laughs> I was, I was kind of, uh, I don't know what story would, I don't know if I wanted to say I was hoping for some explosion or something sparks or something a little climactic, but uh, that's kind of what you'd expect. And usually power supplies have like, you know, overheat or overdraw fail safe, so it'll shut off in case, you know, you have a massive pull, pull or something. Now nah, this guy, just off and dead. Hard, just dead. So uh, sadly, we didn't have to use the fire extinguisher. Oh man, uh, maybe in another video, but uh, clearly this super cheap power supply, this 12 cent power supply, uh, I don't even know if the hardware is good. Honestly, this hardware was super cheap. This whole system was cheap. It doesn't matter. Uh, <sighs> hey, I'm happy we at least got so far. <laughs> but thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. And if you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up because uh, I like the recording this one. This one was pretty fun. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.